Now Baby Soup Dragon can blow, shake, crash and bang to his heart's content. He's very pleased. Ah, there's Tiny with her friends again. Oh dear, what a noise. But Baby Soup Dragon thinks he's terribly good. Tiny's finding it difficult to tell Baby Soup Dragon that he's, well, terribly not very good. Ah, but she doesn't have to. He wants to go and show the others. That's woken Granny up. Soup Dragon doesn't like that. In fact, she can't bear it. How lovely. A felt brooch Mother made. What a lovely little picture. Mother's first gardening trowel. What a special treasure. Tiny and Small want their own memory box, right away. Looks like Major wants to help. Now, what can Tiny and Small find to put in their memory box? Ah, yes. Small's froglet Teddy. And his music boat model. But what about the third special thing? Oh yes, Small's first ever tankard. But how's Tiny getting on? Tiny can't use her Skymoo toy. She can't sleep without it. Nope. She needs her radio hat to talk to the Iron Chicken. These look very nice. But Tiny wants that special thing too, like Mother Clanger's first trowel. Oh, how clever. Major's made a marvelous memory box for them. And Small is wasting no time at all. Mother and Granny think that Small's tankard is wonderful. <coughs> yes, it is too noisy to practice in here, Tiny. Best go and find somewhere quieter. is impressed with Major's workshop. Oh, look out, Major! Major's right. No running in the workshop. Ah, that's better. A lovely tune to calm them down. And here's Tiny, playing her own lovely tune. 
She's off to find Big Hoot. Surely it must be time to play a tune together by now. What a beautiful tune. Big Hoot is playing it with Tiny's singing flower friends. Oh dear, I think Big Hoot's forgotten about Tiny. Granny wants to know if everything is all right. Tiny says she's fine, but she doesn't look it. Hello, Major's trying someone else now. Oh dear, Granny wasn't expecting that. The chatterbox is a bit noisy for her. Major's feeling very pleased with himself. Who will he speak to now? That's right, Mother's worked out what to do. This is a roaring success. Major will never be late for soup again. Ah, the last button. Who will it be? Small and Tiny are excited. They're going to see how Major's doing this. Ah, Baby Soup Dragon has just missed them. He's very curious about the chatterboxes. But he's not sure what he's supposed to do. Hmm, Major thinks something may be broken. Major suggests it could be a hat stand. But what's the use of a hat stand if they don't have that many hats? And it can't be a clothes dryer. They already have one of those. Tiny thinks it looks like some kind of tree. Granny's right. There are plenty of trees on the planet anyway. Ah, he still doesn't know. Major says he'd never have been able to get it here without Small's kindness and help. Mother tells them about Tiny helping Small with his polishing. Major knows what it is. Tiny is right. It is a tree. It's a kindness tree. Oh, I see. For fetching Major the soup, Small deserves his very own leaf to put on the tree. And Tiny deserves her leaf for helping Small polish the music boat. Now Baby Soup Dragon wants his own kindness leaf too. Tiny tells him he has to do something kind first. Hmm? It seems that's just what he intends to do. They have a new visitor. It looks almost the same as a froglet, but different.
tiny and small, introduce themselves. I wonder if it understands them. Ah, so that's where the strange noise comes from. I think it wants to play with the other froglets. Oh dear, I don't think the other froglets are so sure. This will never do. Poor thing. How very like a clangor to befriend a new froglet in need. Tiny and small explain that the other froglets didn't want to play with it. Maybe it looks a bit odd for a froglet. Well, the soup dragon really likes the new froglet and is rather taken with the noise it makes. <laughs> It's a sort of washing machine for Granny's woolens. But it shrinks woolly things. Oh dear. Well, that is a bit pointless. Oh, it's a repeating machine. It repeats whatever is said into it. But Major can't think of any good use for it. Another pointless invention. It's a remote control soup trolley. right. Small and tiny fetch the soup, so what's the point of it? Yet another pointless invention. Ah, here's Mother Clanger. I wonder what she wants. She's come to see what Small found in the sky. Oh, she likes it. But Major says it's completely useless. Mother thinks perhaps it isn't useless. Perhaps it came by to say hello. Major wants to know what's useful about that. <laughs> Mother says not everything has to be useful. Simply saying hello is a nice and friendly thing to do. That can be enough. What is the soup dragon up to? Tiny and small think it's hilarious. Would you believe it? The soup dragon is pretending to be the iron chicken, so Tiny won't miss her while she's away. Yes, what a lovely thing for the soup dragon to do. It's not a bad impression at all. She can move just like the Iron Chicken. If only she looked a bit more like the Iron Chicken too. Major thinks he can help with that. I wonder what he's got in mind. Well, 
Look at that. It's another iron chicken. Tiny thinks she looks fantastic. 